194 AD, a punitive force was dispatched from the capital to a small village being raided by yellow turbans. In that village lived Shuju, a strong and kind-hearted young man who loved the earth. Shuju had been protecting the village from the yellow turban raids, but one day in his absence, the punitive force arrived and appropriated all the crops in the village. Even the gentle Shuju could not contain his anger when he saw the ravaged fields. Shuju, with his weapon in hand, charged the ranks of the punitive force, but there he would encounter Dian Wei, captain of Cao Cao's personal guard unit. A fierce contest of might between two formidable warriors was about to begin. Alright, so here's the next legend scenario, Shuju scenario, the village encounter, and the special rules, no bodyguards, so let's do it. Alright, the equipment, the weapon, as you know, we have the stone crusher, level 10, the items, it's been a while, but I'll show off exactly what I'm going to be using. So here we go. I can't equip any bodyguards. The objectives, we have to defeat Dian Wei to win. Well, defeat him three times, I should say. And we can't allow over 10 enemy supply units to retreat. We can't allow myself to fall or the time run out. Otherwise, we lose. The info, for Shuju's forces, all we have is Shuju, which is me, and that's it. For Cao Cao's forces, we have Dian Wei, Eugene, and Li Dian. Alright, let's do it. So, let me talk about the supply units that you have to prevent from retreating. So, each general will have one supply captain, with the exception of Dian Wei. He will have three, and every time you defeat Dian Wei and when he reappears, he'll add an extra three supply units next to him. So. The task is to make sure you don't let them get away. If you defeat them, that's pretty much the best case scenario. And uh, as long as you defeat four of them, you don't have to worry about that objective of defeat, allowing um, the supply captains to get away. So there is a unique item that we're going to go for. That is the meat bun sack. In order to do that, we have to defeat Eugene. Uh, Li Dian, Manchang, and um, Eugene, Li Dian, Manchang, and Yui Jin. Their supply captains first, and then go for that respective general. As you saw here, I went for the supply captain. Now I'm going for Eugene, and uh, we gotta be quick with that too. You need to make sure every time you defeat the supply captain. That respective general gets angered and it would be a little bit tough for them to get defeated. That's the only way to do it. If you defeat the supply captain and they're not enraged, then you messed it up and you have to do it over again. I think if you allow a certain amount of supply captains to get away, you will be screwed out of the item. And what the meat bun sack does, if I recall, it increases your chances to uh, get meat buns as you drop when you defeat any troops. So, we're gonna go and defeat the supply captain for now. Alright, let's not accidentally defeat the end way. We'll keep him alive for now. Now we'll go for Lee Dian. Well, his supply captain first. Then we'll go for uh, Lee Dian. Because remember, if you're trying to get the meat bun sack, then you have to defeat the supply captains first. You could go for Lee Dian for all I, for all I mean, but just uh, just make sure you uh, enrage that officer. Like you saw there. So far so good, but I'm completely missing my attacks. Alright, lead the ends down. Now we're head for DM Way. Actually he's right by me, so I can actually defeat him right now. There 
go. I'll grab the Musu wine for now. Alright, let me get back on my horse and then we'll head over to the east section over here. Then we'll wait for Dian Wei to appear again, but we'll also wait for Yui Jin to appear. And uh, Yui Jin will appear somewhere around here. We'll defeat the Supply Captain again, and then defeat Yui Jin. There we go. Like I said, you have to make that general mad and uh, defeat the respective general afterwards. If you go for that general first, it'll be a lot easier to defeat. Just uh, a fact fee on that one, or a tip. The only reason why I'm doing this this way is because, well, like I said before, I'm going for the beat bun sack. I believe the level 11 weapon, you have to defeat the general before the supply captain. But um, they're pretty much tanked anyway, uh, the generals, so. There we go. He's down. Alright, now we'll aim for Dian Wei. But um, I definitely want to make sure I defeat those supply captains first. I think the most I could get away with is three. And for the fact that DNA has three supply captains, I could actually pull it off. So let's give it a shot here. Yeah, fuck this. There we go. One more. I mean, at this point, I don't have to worry about that objective loss of allowing too many supply captains to get away. But, um, I'm still going to continue to stop going for them. Yeah, if you, if you actually defeat every supply captain and none of them get away, your ally morale will start to increase. So we have one more general, Manchang. He will appear over here. And then uh, we'll aim for the supply captain. Dian Wei will appear one more time as well. Right there. No more. We're going to retreat. You don't have to worry about him actually withdrawing because there's no objective saying him retreating. As you see here, so anyway, yeah, I'm just gonna wait it out because Mon Chong should be appearing shortly. There he is. Now let me find that supply captain quick. There we go. Yeah, that's the one thing you want to try to do with Shuju's uh, boost to attack. Keep him against a wall and a lot more damage will occur. Because typically if you use a boost to attack, it will send him flying and that's pretty much what you don't want to do. And there's the valuable item right there, right next to the end way. And uh, it has to be 10 on the dot. But like I said before, I'm not worried. We allowed those three. I'm not worried about that afterwards because there's no other supply units to. Uh, there are no more around. Well, there's none left. So that's fine. All I have to worry about now is Dian Wei, which I will do and go for after. Not only after I grab the item, which should be over here somewhere. There it is. But um, I also have to grab the dim sum. 
which is inside, well, if you're playing a battle Jay Ting, inside the uh, fortress over here, or uh, I was gonna say Jay Ting, but mountaintop, whatever. Um, inside the fortress where CME is. But anyways, we, uh, well, I got that. Now I'll go for Dian Wei. And this will be the last time I'll be defeating Dian Wei. I saw that one coming. Let's see what I can do here. I almost had him. There we go. Ooh, you're strong. I've never gotten so hungry after a battle. Hey, why don't you come with us? Mm, if you promise we'll make a world um with lots of laughing and lots of lots of food, then I'll go with you. Right. That settles it. And that's a win. Alright. That's another one down. So here it is. The meat bun sack. It will pretty much give you a better rate. Um... Yeah, that just didn't come out right when I was thinking of it. So, if you equip this, well, if you equip the meat bun sack, it will increase the chances of an enemy officer, well, not officer, but mostly enemy troops, dropping meat buns, which is basically a health bar. So, in order to get it, all you have to do is defeat the respective supply captains under Eugene, Li Dian, Yui Jin, and Mon Chong. Make them enraged, then defeat them, and then you'll be set. But if I'm not mistaken, if you allow a certain amount of supply captains to get away before you get a chance to do all that, then you will forfeit the item, or you won't be able to get it. So, uh, just be careful with that. Anyways, so, that's that. Our kill count is 214. Um, we defeated everybody in this stage. Our clear time is 9 minutes and 4 seconds. We probably got a decent amount of points, so bear with me. Six thousand nine hundred and twenty eight points. Not that it matters because Shuju's rank is at max. All right. The weapon experience doesn't matter because we have the level ten weapon, the grade. We got an A, we'll save, and there you have it. You've been watching my gaming adventures featuring Dynasty Warriors 4, and in some cases Extreme Legends, but for me it's still 4, and I'll see you in the next part. We'll go and complete another Legend mode, so peace out.